ओके गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग सर मै से श्वेता नव ऐम गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबउट वन आफ द ग्रीन आलगे दट इज असिटा बुलेरिया लेट मी टेल अबउट सम इंट्रोडक्शन पॉइंट अबउट असिटा बुलेरिया असिटा बुलेरिया इज अ मेबर ऑफ अ वेरी डईवर्स ग्रूप दट ग्रीन आलगे अंड अदर मेबर्स ऑफ द सेम ग्रूप दट इज उडोनियम क्लेमडोमोना अंड क्लाडोफोरा all of which are quite different in form of and structure uh, that means uh, the udogonium clamadomonas and cladophora are also belongs to the group green algae but they differ from their unique structures and uh, same like acetabularia is also one of the green algae that is also differ from their unique structure that look uh, that gives like a plant like structure then the word acetabularia is derived from the latin word that is acetabulum so uh, previous slide uh, it was proposed by the george edward then the coming to the classification sir go to the next slide on this um, coming to the classification it belongs to the genus acetabularia family polyphysaceae and it grows uh, usually it grows in the region uh, subtropical water regions some of the examples of the acetabularia uh, includes acetabularia acetabulum acetabularium dentata major paniculus and so on then it's a unicellular multinucleate green algae and its size varies from 4 to 10 cm in tall and it's also called as a largest unicellular plant and there are mainly three anatomical parts in the acetabularia organism that are a uh, rhizoids it it resembles the set of the short roots it gives a root like structure that's called the rhizoids and the next one is the long stalk and it's situated in the middle of the organism and the last one is the top umbrella like branches it and it gives a cap like structure to the organism then coming to the structure of the acetabularia and it has a unusual structure by being a large unicellular and possessing the features that might be considered as a organ as i told earlier it is a quite unique and different organism among the algae by means of it has a large and unicellular um, structure and it uh, gives like a organs like uh, consideration while seeing the algae which are means roots stems and leaves and it's a single cell that is attached to the substratum by physical means and for their shelter and uh, protection the it is uh, um, being by it is help Uh, and that is attached by a root like structure called a uh, root uh, rhizoids and these extensions connect to the elongate stalk and that stalk ends at a umbrella like structure called cap and it is often varies from the sizes from 1 cm to more and this it has only one uh, nucleus and that is uh, uh, present in the base of the stem if the stalk is cut uh, by physical means or any other damages then it can regenerate a new top and top can regenerate a new base simultaneously a new organism will generate although it's a short lived because it lacks a nucleus here we can see in the picture uh, the structure of the organism at juvenile stage adult stage and also reproductive stage then next uh so next one Uh, and then coming to the reproduction usually in acetabularia sexual reproduction will occur means uh, the nucleus has a diploid uh, diploid form of um, genet genome then this will diploid 
uh, nucleus will multi uh, undergoes multiple mitotic division then it will go uh, it undergoes the meiosis first it will uh, undergoes the mitosis then uh, meiosis then these meiosis uh, ga gametes will released out through the cyst like uh, structure which is present on the top of the uh, organism and these me meiosis uh, uh, nuclei will release out then it will um, go and uh, uh, fuse to the other uh, uh, gametes which is released out from the other organisms then both the uh, uh, gametes will fuse together to form a zygote and this zygote will go and attach to the suitable substratum and then under suitable conditions that uh, zygote the will mature and grows independently into the individual organisms this is a sexual reproduction as well as the in sometimes asexual reproduction is also occur in the acetabularia means uh, through uh, diploid uh, gamete uh, it will for some diploid gametes will have a flagella uh, which is called as a zoospores and that are um, directly released through the seeds of the cyst of the organism and then uh, released out uh, and they are dispersed through mechanical means like wind what rain etc and they will go and attach to the uh, specific suitable substratum and then grow grows into the individual organisms this is the reproduction of the acetabularia we can see it in the uh, for picture also the nucleus which is present in the results and etc etc okay okay so next one Sir, go to the next slide. Then. Okay, matter and energy. As I already told, uh, acetabularia is a green algae, which means it contains a, a photosynthetic pigments that is chlorophyll, which uh, absorbs the light energy as an energy source, and that is uh, undergoes the photosynthesis, and then finally it releases the uh, organic compounds as a food so um, uh, in the form of carbohydrates some other um, biomolecules and etc uh, so the so that it is called as a uh, photo autotroph then uh, interactions means um, to grow uh, to grow algae uh, needs a substratum for their physical means for uh, protection as well as the shelter etc so they need the uh, some substratum suitable substratum so they interact with the organ uh, substratum as well as the they sometimes they are act as a food for the marine organisms like uh, sea urchins fishes etc uh, so these are all the interactions between the acetabularia as well as the some uh, substratum along with the uh, sea uh, animals. Then Hammerling's experiment. One of the experiment is done on the on this algae uh, acetabularia. In this experiment. <coughs> Acetabularia, uh, as we already know, it contains the main uh, seg three main seg segments that is food, stock, and cap. Here, the Hammerling who did the experiment, he exchanged the caps between two individuals in between Acetabularia mediterranea and Acetabularia crinolata. He exchanged the caps between in between two in these two species. Later, he absorbed something acetabularia uh, mediterranea has a smooth and disc shaped cap while whereas granulata has a branched flower like cap after the exchange each transplanted cap gradually changed from its original form to the typical for the species of the base it was now attached to this showed that the nucleus control the form of cap what means after h changed uh, he observed the uh, acetabularia crinolata do not uh, produce its uh, cap into the mediterranean stock it produced the mediterranean stock only uh, while exchange he observed that the nucleus is the uh, 
a thing which controls the form of the cap uh, after even though we exchange the caps it do not pro produced its original form instead it produced based on the nucleus uh, specificity in the uh, in the other hand armor link inserted the nucleus from one species to the another species he exchanged the uh, nucleus here what he observed means acetabularia then produced a hybrid cap with the characteristics of the both species here he exchanged the one nucleus into the another nucleus he mixed up with the both the species after that he observed the organism will grow along with the characteristics of the both the species not only single he observed both species finally include what means nuclei is nucleus is the main thing which control the whole organism characteristics and form and their structure etc this is the hammerlings experiment okay sir next one uh, applications the main application uh, is the it is used to study the relative role of nucleus and cytoplasm in the genetic control of the growth and development as i already told in the previous slide in the hammerlings experiment he, he proved that the nucleus is the main nucleus which contains the genetic material which controls the whole growth and development of the organisms the remaining uh, applications is the um, same as uh, the other algae as it is used to treat the sewage plant and it is used to uh, for the soil fertilizers because it improves the nitrogen content in the soils and it can also use as a oxygen through photosynthesis it can produce the oxygen in the environment so it is help for the breathing of the aquatic uh, organisms like other uh, sea animals etc and it is also it can also used as an indicator of the pollution and climate change pollution uh, uh, indicators etc and it is also used in the pisciculture means it can used as a food fodder for the sea animals next come to the con conclusion uh, acetabularia contain the high concentration of the nutrients and can be used to make the fertilizers uh, the minerals found in the acetabularia are also very beneficial to the plastic and can be used to create a flame resistant plastics and artificial fibers here there is nothing but uh, the uses of the um, acetabularia and uh, their um, high concentration of the nutrients minerals etc their uh, as well they are useful in ecologically as well as in the economically uh, it is also used as some indicators etc okay so, so the next one Okay, these are all some references which can be used for to study further more information regarding acetabular area. Thank you. Thank you one and all for that for your time. Thank you so much.